here from uh we ready to go back uh, we're getting you ready to go green fly racing for the finale drivers are just trying to do what they need to do to win here but a lot of these drivers are going to try to go uh, but a few of these drivers are going to try to do what they got to do to win the championship and a few of them are starting mid-pack to in the back of the field to make it a little bit more dramatic but we're going to see what happens here today as we will take you to the green flight to to you know to race a debut at this track but it is actually the finale of the series so we will take you there green flag racing we are about to get ready to go here we go 36 of these guys get ready to try to do something here today there's a lot on the line you could be right up there for the win but you could be taken out right here at the start finish line you could be taking out any point in this race here we go for the championship at all he's eliminated from getting the championship but how about Jake Cole Jake Cole didn't even make the chase he's going to try to win the race now look at these guys being in bank going for it already there's Justin Talampus all oh, this contact all the other stuff is around oh but I think a bit of these guys made it oh oh, oh. we got them racking up in the front here there's Rohit there's Trent Dunham down there but they still got this corner they gotta worry about and the 32 was hunting down the six the six is all the way down there and there was more contact oh the 81 Dustin Griffiths is around coming to the line at three wide and gonna get it Michael Donna but it's split it right there but all these guys are gonna get you know slow down slow down cool down cool down like cool down there's Hayden Klein. Hayden Klein's in the third position. Michael Norman's going to lead him back. Now let's take a look at what just happened. Well, this, uh, this wreck started a little bit further up than right here. But as you can see, as we go up the, as we go up there, there, you can see right there, it starts right here. They're five wide. These guys don't understand that five wide is barely working. It's like the rock in the hard place right there and then the 93 gets hit goes down into the 07 Chris Jones just cannot catch a break and he is not catching a break right here but not a lot of trucks involved and there's the 60 the 13 one of the championship and then the 33 gets involved a little bit the 75 and Dylan Pote misses all as well as Seth Cole I believe let me see did Seth miss it he was, he was on the grass but I think he didn't hit anyone. I don't know. Did he? Oh no. No, he actually filtered his way through it. That is a veteran. Veteran moves by Seth Cole. Could win him the championship here today. Man, he, he just slides by those guys. Look at this guy. Ooh, we're aiming for you, Seth. And <laughs> everybody makes a move through it. But, uh. Oh, bunny hopping. Yeah, we're bunny hopping today. Do the bunny hop. Everybody do the bunny hop. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, we'll take one more look at this wreck. We had another part of the wreck with the 81 up there. He's fun. He's fun coming off turn three. And uh, turn three and four. But anyway, you can see right there the contact with the 18. Oh, yeah, the 81. God damn it. I didn't even see him involved. You see the 93, uh, James Claus going down there, spinning the 13. Oh, he's going to hit the wall. Andres Allen missed it. The 33, the 75, the 19 involved. The 29, Trent Dunham was up against the wall. He was involved. There he is right there. You can't see him through the smoke, though. There he is. But then up here, he got the bunny hopping. Dylan Pote did a great job. Most of the championship contenders did a great job missing it but then up here I don't know what happened to the 81 Looks like he uh oh he got into the 8 the 8 was uh, inside the wall and he's gonna try to clear him and that's what happened to him and, uh, I don't think anybody else hits these guys so they're all good so we'll take it back green right, we're gonna be going back green fight racing but uh I think we only have one driver out of the race. Chef Cole is in the mid-pack right now. And there's Kyle Thomas 
and Chris Washer, a couple of the guys you gotta keep an eye on throughout this race. Michael Norman dead last in the points. He's had a terrible chase. He's wrecked in almost every race of the chase. He, he had a dominant, he was in dominant fashion before the chase, but as soon as the chase hit, he just melted down big time. And he's going to get it going, but that 32 and that 6 are going to find a way to try to get by him as well. There is a lot of room on this track, and you can see already up to 200 miles per hour. You know, it don't take them long here, and they're three wide for the lead. Look at the 32 trying to get the middle. Here's the six on the bottom. Here comes Ryan Acosta. Ryan Acosta on the bottom trying to get something going. Here comes Jessica Shelton. Jessica Shelton trying to get that first win. There's the 57 to 5. They're the key components right now. It's there on the inside. Kyle Thomas. Kyle Thomas in a bit of a bind. All oh, these guys are making contact with Kyle Thomas. Still has the lead. Oh, the nine. Big trouble back there. The four wide. Kyle Thomas going to be a key lead the lap right there. But I think we just had a we just had a huge mess. I don't know the fifties big damage involved. The thirty two spun on pit road. The third the nineteen, the thirty three, the ninety eight. And I don't know who else that was. That was the ninety three. But I think a bit of those guys were involved in something else, but Ian Dutta has won two races this season and this is not gonna be a great finale finish for him today. So, uh, let's take you back to what just happened to bring out the second wreck. This happened to Ian Dutta on the restart. Ian was just minding his business in the 30th position back here. And there's Leia Walker running the championship contenders. Not where she wants to be. But, uh, um, looks like the 81. 81's just been having a bit of trouble with his truck all day. And he's just been everybody's way over. And the 13, we were just talking about her, and she just slams right there. She is not having a great day right now. This could really cost her in the championship right now. There's Seth and Dylan in front of her. And a couple of the other championship contenders in front of her as well. But we'll, take it, we'll back it up again and take a look at Ian again. And then we'll go back to the, to the wreck that happened up in the front off turn four. And yeah, the 81's just like, I'll get up in your way, Ian, and Ian's trying to just move him out of the way, get the hell out of the way. <laughs> and he ends up getting the worst of it, bouncing off the wall, bouncing, and just and getting hit by the 13, and he's just going to slide, and this is not the way he wanted to end his season in the truck series, unfortunately. But up here, it's where the real stuff happens, where the real stuff goes down up here in this part of the pack I believe it was with the three up here or somebody oh the three yep the three is going to run in the back oh the 32 yep here we go right there Michael gets hit hits the nine the 32 goes spinning the 18 Seth oh Seth got into him oh yeah Seth got into it Dylan did a hell of a job missing that Seth did not though oh and oh there's the 19. Holy cow. He tried to he tried to do a slob job side job to miss that. The nine, the eighteen, there's the three, there's Seth Cole involved. Oh and then right there. Oh he hit the three. Oh, holy Christ. Man, I believe I believe he was I believe he was trying to trying to send a prayer not to hit that wall and that prayer was not answered. 32 he just he just got thrown down here cuz he uh the three got right into him he could not say that and, oh my god look at that he almost hit the official the official's raving the red flag dude get out the way dude oh my god <laughs> oh and then the, the, the 19 it just smashes the wall and then he smashed all the watermelons out that truck that truck is sponsored by watermelons oh my god here comes the Black, black jokes about watermelon. But anyway, <laughs> that is what happened right there. And that was a tough break for a few of these guys. A few of these guys needed some good runs. There's the fifth. I didn't see him. How the hell he got involved? I didn't see him involved in the first part. Oh, I think he ran in the back of somebody. Yep, he ran in the back of the 18. There you see the 9, the 3, the 52 involved. The, 
but 18 Dillon did a hell of a job missing that. That could save him in this championship race right now. And there's a there's a uh, two Dillon Young involved as well. It's a big rack back in. So and there's a 19 and a 32 after taking hard hits into the wall. Uh, and the official is all right after almost getting T-boned by that 32 truck, and we'll take it back green. All right, they're about to go back green again. So been a pretty eventful race so far. I don't know how much damage Seth has, but it probably could really hurt Seth right now. Take a look at where Seth is on the racetrack. And Seth is right there, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know how badly damaged his truck is, but there is a 14. The 14 around the cops again and swoop by the 57 on the bottom. But here comes the one. And Jessica Shelton is getting that run on the outside lane as well. And you see Andreas, there's a five down there and a five up there of Chris Washer. These guys are trying to hit about hit about hit about two fifty down the back straightaway and that's exactly what they did. Here comes the fifty seven on the inside. Is he gonna get it? Oh he's gonna get the move right there. Oh there's Oh there's Daniel Day. And here, and the 57 is gonna lead again, coming to the line. And there's Dylan. I don't know where Seth is. There's Dylan Pote. He is in the eighth position right now. It's where he needs to be with Chris Washer right now. I don't. I don't know. Uh, Look like Daniel Day just spun by himself. Let's take a look at what happened. This is what happened to Daniel Day right here. And he didn't get too lucky. We were looking back here, and then these guys were going like four wide. Daniel Day was in the 12th position. Dylan gained a whole bunch of positions. Jessica up against the wall. They're four wide right here again, and they're just bouncing off each other. And he did a great job to save it, and then the 88 bounces down, and Seth's trying to stop. Oh, he almost got, and Seth almost got hit again. Let's take it back to green. Right. Glad to get ready to go back green if I race. As you can see, Kyle Thomas, has, I believe he has led the most last right now. If he can end up winning this race, it could really help him in that championship race. Even though him and Chris Washer and a few of those other guys were long shots, but this could really help them out. And I think this is what, really, what they really need right now. But Andres Allen is not what he needs. He's all up on the back of his ass right there, going down in the corner. Look at that one trying to make something happen. Here comes Jeff James. Jeff James getting the push down the back straight away. Here comes Dylan Pote. And that's the go right there. Here comes Dylan. Dylan to the lead. Off the corner. Can he hold the lead? I don't know. Oh, there's more contact. Dylan Pote. Oh. He's no, he didn't lead it. Oh, he just came in second, and then four wide for the lead. Here comes Cody Llamas. Cody Llamas. They're making a whole bunch of contact, but I think they're still green. The 31's gonna get up into the wall. Oh, Cody! Whole bunch of contact. Here they go. Here's Jason Tron. Jason Tron. Oh, Dylan. Dylan's slowing down. Oh, Jake, there they go into the corner. Here comes Jordan Nippolito, Jason Trost. Jordan Nippolito still has the lead, though. Oh, this is... Oh, oh, this is Chris Washer. Chris Washer in trouble. The 99. Dylan Pope. Oh, Jessica Shelton. But they're still wrecking. There's still, there's still problems. Oh, Chris Washer came back up in front of... And there's Seth Cole. Chef Cole is in it. A championship contender that could take him out right now. Andreas Allen's in it. Michael Norman, Chris Washer, Dustin Griffiths, Jeff James, Eric Burton, Dylan Pote is a lucky guy. Oh my god, he is so lucky. How did he miss that five shot coming back at the racetrack? It's beyond me. And that 57 is lucky as well. But the leader is going to be that 24 Jason Trost. But we just had a huge match. Let's take a look at what happened. Here's where the contact was. 
it was really evident who was who was man. These guys tried to go four wide. Then 44 tried to get off of him. 51 got up into the wall. The 44 couldn't do nothing. He came down. Is a five. Comes up into the 99. Dylan somehow squeaked by the. Jessica Shelton got into it. There's the 07. The 92 gets hit. There's where he got hit by Seth. The 68. And the 13. The 3 comes into it. The 81's involved. Jeff James. Just a huge mess. Here on the back straightaway. Seth. Seth can do anything. He, he just got. His, his truck wasn't really destroyed. He was at the back of his pack. He's minding his own business. He was like just waiting, waiting for the right time to move. He stayed in the back most of the after after almost having a, having problems the first time when he got involved in an incident and then this one, there's just trucks all over the place. There's the O seven hits the five and the ninety two of Andres Allen, nowhere to go and then oh right there, the five comes back. The five got hit like a pinball throughout that whole rack. There's, there's Jeff James, the 13 again, third third crash he's been involved in. The only trucks that not get involved in nothing is the 57 and the 31. Dylan could end, end up winning this race if he keeps cool and calm. Here, we'll, we'll take a look on board with Seth here in a minute. I don't know how the hell Dylan missed that. Take on board with both of those championship contenders and see what the both the situations were. Okay, you can see right there the 44 comes down, catches the 55, the 9, 99, and the 9 get together. Dylan just, I don't know how. Then the 07 comes in, the 9's up against the wall. Then there's, there's the 57 on the skin involved. There's, there's the 99, the 92 involved, the 77 involved. And, and then there's the 68 involved. And, the 77, the 3 of uh, Michael Norman, the, the 92, there's a 44, he spun on pit road, there's a 68 stop, he's done, let's run on board with that, let's run on board with Dylan Poteet through this rack, there you see the 07, he got involved big time, then we'll run on board with uh, Chef Co through it, right, here we go. I don't know how the hell he missed that. I, I, I do not know. That is a Chris that is a Christmas miracle right there. But on the other hand, Seth got involved in the in the third big wreck of the day. So well, he didn't miss this one. Yeah, and this is this is probably the biggest wreck of the day. Oh well, he hit Andreas and then he hit the five. He came back then to seventy seven, the sixty eight. And there's Eric Burton getting involved as well. There's Andreas. Not the way these guys want him to finish the season. Tough break for Seth Cole. He's not going to win his first championship in in in, in SCRA. Well, I don't know if he has. But we'll take you to the green flag. Tough break for Seth Cole. His championship hopes are done. I'm discussing with the, with the NNSCRA officials. It's been kind of a crazy race, and you need to tell these guys to come something, man. I mean, I know, it's, I know they're excited. It's the first race here for this series at M and M's, but these guys need to calm down big time because we don't, we don't want the big timers in the championship right now. As the 31 of Dylan Pote, I don't know where he is. He, I believe he, yeah, there he is. He's right down there in the middle of the track. But Jason Trost got a big move right there. Dylan needs to Dylan needs to stay where he's at right now. But his truck has been moving around a lot. If Dylan can finish in the top ten, that'd be pretty big for him. But uh, oh boy, he, oh he's on the bottom, which is good. He's on the real bottom. There he is. There's a bit of oh, there's a lot of contact. Oh, they're four wide back there. Dylan's gonna lead a lap. Dylan Pote. 
is gonna lead a lap and that's key for him in this gym. Well, look at the 75. What the? What the hell? But then the car and the car's gonna come out again. No, it's, yes, it is. Caution is out again. Right when Dylan just took the line to the to the line, he just took it to the line. Dylan, come on, don't wreck Dylan. Come on, keep it going, keep going, Dylan. Dylan's got everybody behind him right now. Oh, but Ryan Acosta gonna try to, but he's holding it on that inside. Hold it on the inside, Dylan. Hold and then he's holding it up. Oh, Jessica. Oh, oh, gee, and there's another rack. The 24 around. Oh, the 6 is around. But Dylan didn't get any bit of it. And that is a good point. He's in the third position right now. Dylan's freaking surviving. And we just have, we have more people. Yeah, we had somebody else involved. The 30 truck. All right, we'll take a look at everything that just happened here. Look like it started with the 75 and the 57. So we talked about Kyle Thomas not being involved in nothing. So the only person is Dylan, and Dylan just let a lap. So Dylan could try to win this race and win this championship. So let's see what happens. Like people got together again right here, and you can see right there the 27. And it looked like these guys were pitting or something. What the hell is the 57 doing? He, um, I don't know what he was doing. Oh, wow. I don't know. What was the 57 doing? I don't know what that was. He just, he just came up there and clipped the 75. I don't know what they were doing right there. That was a little bit weird. I mean. Shouldn't have been doing it. The 57 shouldn't have been all over the racetrack like he was. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, something must have been up with his truck or something, cause nobody else was all over the racetrack like that. I mean, everybody was fanning out, but he was all the way on the grass. I don't know what he was doing, and then he just, he just comes up and takes out the 75 with Preston Floyd. They both slide at the same time, and then they're both going to spin out. That's pretty much going to hurt the 57 chance at the championship right there. The only, the only championship contender alive that hasn't been involved in anything is Dylan. And now, now we're going to take a look at what happened to the 24. Where is he at? There he is right there. He, he went spinning. <coughs> Him and Hayden Klein did. I was talking about Dylan trying to hold the lead. I think Jessica got the lead. Away from Ryan and Costa, or it was there. There's the 24 go around. Oh, Sean hit the back of him. There's Hayden Klein. He's gonna spin it around, going down to the pit road. Oh, and then Cody just runs in the back of him, back of him, and then Cody gets turned. Then, then the 30 is gonna get hit right there, and he's just gonna spin it out. So there's a lot going on right there, but the 30 did save and save that shit. Right there, so let's take it back to the finish of this exotic race we have been having today. Really not having anybody left right now. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully all these guys at the front here can make it. I mean, let's hope so. But Dylan really needs to get to the low side right now and try to make something happen. Jessica Shelton needs to as well. But here comes Dylan. Dylan's making it three wide. There's Dylan Proteet. Here he goes. He's doing what he got to do. He's making it three wide for the lead. Ryan Acosta. There's Jordan Impolito to the bottom. He's going to try to make it four wide. There's Trent Dunham. Where the hell has he come from? He was spun around on the first lap. Dylan Proteet just needs a finish. There he goes. There's the 17 and the 27. They're going to make some contact. There's Dylan, and there's Dylan, he's gonna go to the bottom. Oh, and trying to help Trent out. Dylan Pote trying to help Trent Dunham. Dylan needs to go for the win, though. Come on, Dylan. Dylan Pote right behind Trent Dunham. Trent Dunham goes up. Dylan Pote to the inside. Here comes the eight. There's Jessica Shelton's all over the place. With Dylan Pote. In front, he hasn't won since Daytona. 
And it's not looking like anybody's going to get to him right here. He is out in front doing what he's got to do right now. Dylan Pote. There he goes. There's contact. Here he comes to the white flag. He got the wall. Here comes Jordan Nippolito. Dylan Pote needs to hang on. But Jordan Nippolito got him right there. And this is what he, Jordan Ippolito needs right now. And this is not what Dylan needs. Dylan's going to get up in that wall. Oh, he's going to get the wall right there. Here comes Zach Landers. And there's Jessica Shelton. Don't call up Jessica Shelton. With Dylan, the Trent Dunham, Jordan Ippolito trying to hold it off. Here going into the final corner. Here comes Zach Landers. Zach Landers is going to go. Oh, is anybody going to get the wall? Trent Dunham got the wall. But here comes Jessica Shelton. But here comes Jordan Ippolito is going to win it. And Dylan Pote is going to finish in the top ten. I don't know. I don't know how many, uh, how many laps he led out of the chasers, but... Oh, man, he finished in the top ten. That could help him big time here. Dylan Pote could have won the championship. I don't know. But Jordan Nippolio beat Zach Landers to the line. They're all about four, three wide all over the place here. Zach Landers just came close. But Jordan Nippolito is going to come out here and win the race. Whew. Whew. I thought Dylan had it for a minute. And then... It looked like he uh he got the wall at the end. I did not think he was gonna get the wall. I thought he had it. But it's alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, a lot of contact coming on the pit road there. A few of those guys. There's Henry Henry Sanford. And uh let's take you to the finishing results. Oh man, that finish between Jordan and Polito, man, everybody was trying everybody was trying to get up there and try to get a piece of that on the last lap. Dylan had it until he got into the wall, man. Uh, I did not think he got into the wall and I thought he had it to win the race, but he will end up finishing seventh, still up in the top ten though, leading laps, doing what he needed to do. He almost had to win. It might help him enough to win the championship, I think. Because Leo Walker finished 22nd and really struggled all day. And Seth and a few of the other guys he was fighting with really struggled today as well. So, just to really help him out big time here. And, uh, alright, let's take a look at uh, the finishing results. Jordan Nippolito, Zach Landers, Jessica Shelton, Kyle Sinoski, Trent Dunham, uh, Cody, you know, Justin Talampus, Cody Lamas, Eric Burton, Jason Tross, and there you can see you know, all the guys that were on pit road are involved in a whole bunch of wrecks today. So there's your finishing results for the finale. Jordan Nippolito barely beat Zach Landers. Everybody was going all over the place. Man, this is insane. Let's uh, we'll see you later. We'll see you next season. Make sure you be there. Or, or else, no.